What's up, guys? It's your boy Savage 007 here in Jersey. What we're looking at right here is the uh, Sig Sauer P320 RXP X Compact. Yeah, it's a mouthful to say all of that, right? P RXP meaning that it, that this gun comes standard with the uh, Romeo One Pro. Right there, those sights, which I think are really, really freaking nice. Love it. This thing is just super awesome. It comes with that. So that's what, what where are you getting that RXP from? All right. And of course you have the X frame. This is the X frame, not the regular P320 frame, which is a little bit more woundier and it has, and it says the name six hour on it. Now this one just has the emblem on it and it has a, a more boxier frame type thing, you know, and, and it has the curve up here and all. It's really nice. So this is what, what makes it the X. But uh, they got the X compact that does not come with this. That is not RXP. And it comes with a plate here. And the rear sights are attached to that plate. And that plate, uh, once you remove it, you can install the Romeo 1 Pro on it. And uh, maybe some other sights you can actually install on it. But you will be losing your rear sights with the regular X compact. You will be losing that rear sight. And the front sight is uh, smaller. It's not quite as tall as this. This this gun actually comes with suppressor height sights, so that when you are looking through the sight, you can actually co-witness very nicely with it. You know, as you can see over here. I'm gonna zoom out there so you can see see the dot out there. You can co-witness if that dot was to go out. Your Romeo Pro you know, happen to like uh, lose its power. You still have your sights to co-witness with it. I'll take it into the dark so you can see really nicely how these are trigicons so you can actually see through them very nicely as well. See that? Yeah, you can see you can see those uh, sights in the dark. Yeah, let me go even in, even in the darker area so you can see. See that guys? Really nice, you can see that sight perfectly right there. And you can see the uh, the front and rear sights as well to co-witness. I've seen some reviews on this gun as far as this uh, ambidestric frame slide. I find them to be just perfectly fine. So back to this gun, why I have it here is because this is the Glock 17. Why is it that the, uh, the RXP uh, 320 compact looks the same size? It's not really the same size anything if you guys are wondering if these things are loaded they're not i've already pre-checked them and i'm not gonna you know as you can see there's nothing in there there's nothing in this one either they're both empty 100 percent. i pre-checked them they changed the laws in jersey and we could carry and whatnot so i was forced to carry this because i didn't have something smaller so i went and i purchased the 365 xl which is like a sub sub compact because i wanted i really wanted to conceal a lot more than anything else because though you can conceal this and everything come the summertime i'm definitely gonna have to wear more clothing to be able to conceal this the 365 when i bought it online i saw it in person i was like wow that thing was tiny i mean I, it was so tiny that my hand really was like this closed up you know and i was like wow that thing looks like a toy and uh, i tried it out and all that the, the recoil was a little bit much on it but it makes sense because it's smaller shorter barrel and the size of it alone you know definitely but it was a great shooter i was very very pleasantly impressed with it but for me i thought it was just too small for my hands being that i wear size large glove and those tend to be a little bit small for me a bigger guy so i'm i can conceal this very easily for me i needed something between that subcompact and you know and uh and the full size where this came into play I said, like, I love that 365, and I was impressed by it. And I said, like, I want something just like it, but maybe a little bit bigger. And that's where this came into play. And the bonus with this is that it came with the sights, you know, and suppressor height sights, which was huge for me. You know, I love the co-witnessing. Huge. I needed that. All right. And the grip is just, like, it mimics the grip on my Glock. Glock doesn't come with this. It actually, I actually purchased this. I forgot the name of these uh, these grips, but you can find them on Amazon. They're very, you can find them custom to your weapon. This is a custom cut that I was able to wrap around this and I kid you not. If you are thinking about getting this, get it. It's 100%. It made my act, I mean like I can grip this 
like it, it like glues the gun to your hand it's like so freaking good like when you grab this you're like wow this is really sticking to my hand so freaking good maybe i'll i'll put it on this but needless to say this gun comes with with uh kind of the same thing you know the stippling and everything you know mimic that and i was like wow it does that's a, that's pretty cool and it does feel almost like that not quite but just like that but it does you pick that up you're like wow that feels like natural and you know if you have much larger hands you could get the one with the l in the back 6r sells them but this right here is relatively smaller than than this here you know the traditional p320 is not so boxy the grip and like this the glock is like that and they took a if you look at the design it's very similar this has a back a little back strap to it that you add to it i added that because of the size of my hand but realistically you know uh you can make it the same size as this but you still see from above that it is wider and a little bit longer even even then all right but it's got that boxy flat on the sides of signs like the glock and if you look at the frames right there you know the glock does have a little bit more of a of an angle to it the similarities in these two firearms this design is like the love child of the glock and the 1911 because if you look at this frame it looks like a 1911. see that whole design and the and the the, the look of this it looks like a 1911 the bottom half it's more straighter down than this that it's more out all right they took a page out of that as far as that's concerned in design but the rest is all glock but if you come to height they're both basically identical. It's a, it's a full-size gun that's, that's got a shorter barrel. That's all it is. Springs and the barrels. The barrels are like almost identical. Look at the similarities. They are almost identical, if not identical. Almost identical with the exception of that one inch. I went and I got this from the Olight. You know, I've seen a couple guys online abiding by it. And I said like that, a big plus to get. So when I went and I got it, okay? And this thing fits like a glove on there. One hand that I was able to put that on there. And there, now you have light and you have everything that you need. Look at that gun, how beautiful it is. Sweet. It's, it's like a full-size gun that you can conceal so much better. I mean, like the concealability is just super awesome. One thing I got to say about the trigger on this thing is that it's very crisp, very nice. And then... And the wall hits at 90 degrees. You know, I don't know if I could do this one-handed here so that you can... Okay, yeah, I did it. See that? You can hear, see that? Just a tiny little take up and then click, okay? So I'm gonna rack this on my leg. Look at that, that easy, I love it. Right there. It's like, like instant, boom. That makes for an amazing shooter. Six hour definitely has a has a higher borax. You know, if you can see, see where my finger is. I got to stretch up there to get to here right where the glock is right there there as far as recoil is concerned with the one inch uh, barrel difference i was very pleasantly surprised by the sig okay so that's right there i've cleared the both of them so don't worry about me pointing the gun at the camera it's just the camera is not my face right so if you want to take a really nice close look at that you know magwell that you can actually feed feed the magazines really easily with this. If you look inside the mag well, there looks like to be like three wells in there. Three little cutouts in there. And those are for metal weights to put in there. Three metal bars. That SIG uh, left that space in there in case you want to add weight to your frame. Uh, personally, I don't think it's going to change the performance of the, of the gun. I don't think it's going to make any difference and performance because this did perform very flawlessly i think personally that's all preference that is definitely preference i'm definitely going to be putting them on because it's my preference i prefer uh you know a frame that's a little, got a little bit of more weight on it 
personally, and the weight is not significant from what I've from what I've read. It's just a tiny pinch of weight, but I'm gonna add them just to see how it does, and I'll be putting that in the video as well, and you guys will see that that installed and whatnot. But as far as the gun's performance is concerned, this thing is works just perfectly fine. Now, if you're looking for a compact, but not too small, and not too subcompact, you know, this will definitely do it for you. This this is definitely my favorite by, by all means a favorite. Well, why didn't you get the Glock 19? I could see it in the comments. Why didn't you go with the Glock 19 MOS? Guys, hold on because yes, I'm gonna be getting the Glock 19 MOS in the near future. And that's definitely gonna be a part of my 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 family here. All right, so I wanted to try something a little bit different and I've always been a big, big fan of 6R, so. You know, and yeah, they've there've been a couple of forums out there about these guns and whatnot, but this gun particularly came right out of the box with all the upgrades that you were looking for. There we go. All right, we're gonna do that. I'm doing everything one-handed. Show you guys how to take this down one-handed. Okay, that's one right there. And then I gotta like, maybe let it pop there. All right. Slap right there to the front. And I was gonna show you guys this real quick before I finish the video. I, you see how black that is right there? You could tell the firearm has been worked on if that's a, so in silver color. If that was silver color right in there, then you will know that the firearm was worked on. Right inside there where the, where the back of this is right there. These guns particularly are coming with all the upgrades and everything now, you know, being that they're newer. And I was pleasantly surprised to see it's just dark. It was built from the factory like that, not upgraded, not worked on. So that's something that you might want to like keep under consideration whenever you're going to buy these. Check them out at the store and that's what you tell them. I want to open the gun up to see it and I want to see it. And then there's certain things that you're going to be looking for. That'd be one of, one of the telltale signs that they're selling you a brand new gun or an older gun that was worked on, that was taken back to a 6R for them to put to do all these upgrades to make them safer. I'm not a gunsmith by any means, but I do my homework on these firearms. And that's the, that was something that could have been a deal breaker for me, but, you know, needless to say, you know, I was pleasantly surprised. Get a holster for it that's very proper for it. Don't go getting a holster that's for, for a Glock 19 and then sticking this in there, only to find out that your that holster accidentally pull this in here and or some this kind of some kind of mishap all firearms are not perfect even though they might claim the same with this this have a little pin right here in the trigger this doesn't have it the business end is right here so as promised i was going to show you the words holster that i ordered here it is definitely love the holster it's really nice okay works that's the name brand you can adjust that right there just pull the screws and you can either turn your your holster inside your pants so that it sits however you prefer it it comes with this arm that actually pushes the butt end of that up against your body a little bit tighter and it has this pump over here on the other side that pushes up against your body and makes the gun kind of canter into your body a little bit better as well it's really good i really love the holster and all that uh, one thing that uh, I did not like was that the cutout is not there for you to charge the Olight. It's like back here, unlike the video that was up front. That was a lot easier, but you can still charge it. It's not a deal breaker for me, guys. You see, you can still charge your Olight while the gun is still inside the holster, and you can pull it out just as easy. I don't like that yanking kind of thing because you're eventually going to damage this. You know, wires, pulling wires like that will damage them. I prefer, honestly take the old light off charge it separately and then stick it right back on the gun and you're only going to do that every once in a blue moon anyway um and uh, and the front okay the front this right here was very open this opening was like super open to the point where i knew it was going to be bothering me in my pants so how to mitigate that i put a heat gun to the tip of this plastic right there and once once that plastic got malleable i actually put it up against this uh granite countertop this marble countertop and I just like pushed down on it and until it cooled off and then it gave me the shape of the gun here as you can see on this one side you could see right there but you have to have the, the firearm in it 
so that you don't overturn inside. So I did that and uh, and I actually moved the tip in a little bit as well. See that, all that, put a heat gun to it and you can actually pull all that stuff in so that when it's inside your pants, those edges are not gonna be bothering you. But as far as the uh, holster's concerned, I really love it. It's a really good holster, really nice. I love that it's got the uh, cut out there if you want the, uh, what they call that, the gas pedal, you know, on the gun. And it, it works just great, you know, and, and the gun sticks in there pretty nicely. See that? Hold them here. Twenty-five yard line. Check it out. So anyway, again, like and subscribe. If they like, please like for me. Don't just pass me up and just swipe to the next video. Like and subscribe for me. You know, so they could help the channel and help the cause. All right, guys. Peace and love. Stay safe. Boy Savage 007.